In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add and remove an active class on Click. All right, so I have a simple example for you. So I just have a nav bar here and I have a separate video on how to create a nav bar like this in this playlist or one of the links in the description. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an active, an active class if we click on any of these links. Right, so just to show to you what it's going to look like, so it's, there's going to be some kind of active class. And what this active class will do, let's say that it just adds a color for the font that's just plain white. right? Because these nav links right now, they have this white color with 75% opacity. When they get the active link, it's just going to be plain white. right? So I've added the active link here, so this is what that would look like. And what we're going to do is when we click on projects now, for example, it's going to be removed from solutions here and it's going to be added to this one, right? That's what should happen. So I'm going to remove the active link here. So we need to write a little bit of JavaScript to make that work. So what we need to do is we need to select all of those nav link elements. So what we can do is say nav link else. I like to append else or L to my variable names if we're working with an HTML element or HTML elements. So here it's multiple. So we're doing query selector all. And then it's dot nav underscore underscore link, right? So using BEM notation here for my CSS class names, right? So it's really important if you wanna work as a web developer or maybe you're already working in web development that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals. Those are both CSS as well as JavaScript. I have courses on them both. I highly recommend you check them out. The links are in the description if you wanna take it to a professional or advanced level. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen for a click event, right? Because when I click on projects here, this link should get the active class. If I click on industries, this link should get the active class. So every link needs to do something when there is a click on it. So we're gonna add an, um, a, a, an event listener for each of those nav links. So for each nav link, right? So now it's the individual nav link in here that we're working with. We're gonna add an event listener. Right, so add event listener and the we're going to listen for the click event. When the click event occurs, we're going to fire this function. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to add the active class. So for that link, nav link element, we can add a class with dot class list and then add one. And the class is called active, right? So not dot active, just active because it, it already knows it's a class, right? Because it's class list. So now if we save here and if I click on projects, you can see it has the active class. I can prove that to you. If we go in here, you can see it has the active class now, right? If I click on industries, industries also becomes white. It also gets the active class. If I click on solutions, it also gets the active class. So obviously when we click on any of these links, it should also remove it from the previous one, right? So when I click here and then on industries, when I click on industries, it should also remove the previous one. So before we add an active class, we're also gonna select um, an element with the with the class of active and we're going to remove it from the class list right so that we can do it with this so we're going to select um, an element with a class that has a class of active and then we're going to remove a class from its class list and we're going to remove the active class and only then are we going to add the active class to the element that was clicked so now if i save here and i click on project and industries and actually we get an error because initially there is no element with an active class right so this may not exist document a query selector that uh this may give us null so then you you try to do something it will throw an error so these days we have the question mark here this will not this will prevent that error from happening if this does not exist so make sure you have that as well let's try it again so now when i click on projects it adds the active class and now when i click on industries it removes it from the previous one so this is how you can add and remove an active class now it's really important with these things with arrow functions and um, that you have mastered you know modern javascript there are some changes here there are lots of things in javascript that you need to know because maybe for example you're going to see something like this other people will maybe prefer this syntax just uh, the old school function perhaps and then you can use the this keyword actually right if i do this um, it still works right so you can also use it you can you will also see some people use some syntax like this so there's a lot of things that you need to know about modern javascript and how it relates to the to the older way of, of writing javascript that you that you need to know as a web developer so definitely check out my JavaScript course as well as my CSS course. There's lots of things like Flexbox and CSS Grid that you really need to know as a modern web developer. 
Right, so those links are in the description. Definitely check them out if you want to take your CSS or JavaScript skills to a professional level. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.